Right, this one is just a, a quickie really on this Boeing 787 Dreamliner. This is it's a marvellous piece of engineering. I've just I've taken screenshots because of the copyright implications and all that jazz, but uh, here you can see the bulk of the underneath is taken up with the landing gear like on all the aircraft, and then you've got your luggage compartments and all that sort of stuff. The wings are tiny as ever, and most of it, a third of it's taken up by flaps and hy hydraulics and all that stuff and electrics. I mean, absolutely beautiful piece of kit. Um, what's this? Where am I going with this video? Um, this guy here apparently buys loads of them. And then look, he leases them to the airlines, you see. So when I say the airlines don't own their aircraft, this guy buys them, leases them to the airlines. So the airlines themselves don't own the aircraft. I've been saying this and I'll keep saying it, okay? Maybe you, know, you might want to drop him a line on Twitter and ask him about uh, the free air that these, um, you know, that they run on air and all that. Here we go. This is from CNN's um, thing here. Under, nice shot under the wing. Nice and skinny little wings. But allegedly, this one carries 101 tonnes of liquid fuel. I'm just going to stop it there. That's... 101 of those 1,000 litre water containers, and you can see the dimensions there over a metre by 1.2 metres and a metre. So 101 of those in the wings. Are we, are we getting this in our heads now? Um, just uh, as I say, I'll, I'll, I'll keep throwing this in. So what, 10 of those builder skips, and they are heavy. If you ever seen a, a skip being lifted up? Sometimes the actual hydraulics, they struggle themselves if they're full and full of rubble and that. And there's 28 tonnes inside one of those shipping containers. Anyway, I'll just go back to the where I'm going with this. Hold on. Basically, in the independent here, there was the first non-stop flight from Australia. 17 hours and it had to carry the additional fuel. So they, had to, they just had to make up a figure and that was the figure they chose there if I go back. This guy here is often seen on TV, seems to get about everywhere. It's his job, he's a travel correspondent. Maybe drop him a Twitter line as well and ask him about the free, the free air engine, see if he knows or whether he's, he's just too happy being paid to fly about. So they're, t they're claiming that engine there has, uh, sorry, that plane is carrying 126,000 litres of liquid jet A fuel. Are we getting this now? Are we seeing how ridiculous this is? And when they fill up, as I say, there's not a bit of travel, not a bit of movement in the wing. And it feels no different when you take off to when you land. Anyway, uh, there's to say that that was really what it's about. And that's from their, their, you know, their websites. You can you can you can Google this yourself. And there's that guy there. Maybe you want to pay him a little uh, a little doings. And there it was. There was the plane. And what they did show you as well. They always seem to show you that uh, that's the guy removing the, the toilet waste. But they just mentioned fuel on, fuel on an ITV um, thing about Heathrow and that particular plane. And then they, sh they shot straight to this guy removing the shit. As though that's he's fueling it, but he's removing the shit. So you can see the different attachment there to the other ones that I've shown you. Anyway, just a quickie, bits and bobs. Hope you like that one, Ta.